Hey everyone, hope you all uh, survived Christmas there. So uh, that is a video of me and Chris uh, went up to the Silver King. We have some footage we couldn't use before. But uh, don't feel too sorry for us if we look cold because as you're watching this, we're down in Mexico. <laughs> we're down there do filming some real cool stuff. So this is a kind of a, um, this is some footage we uh, didn't uh, use from the Silver King. That was pretty cool. And then the last part of this is stuff in the Highlander, some pretty cool footage too. So we're kind of putting these two together. Um, it's shitty trying to find mines in the wintertime because unless you know exactly where you're going, you'll never find anything. So luckily I knew exactly where this was and we were kind of really wanting to get into it. And that's a really cool mine. So we're just using a sled for an anchor. We're going to back up here. And this is the portal we're going into, a real small, skinny little cold portable. It's pretty cool though. Most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. Oh, good as new. Frank, Frank. No, you didn't see it up. No? A little, little grease in the wheels and away she'll go? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that big pins in here, eh? So, what they do is they pull these pins out, pull the wheels out, greased her up, eh? And then stuck it back. They didn't have zerks. Look at this, is wooden. The bottom's made out of wood, and it's the same as that other cart we saw. Remember you seen that steel? Yep. Same construction. That's a complete one. That's an old cart. Probably turn the century. Here's the tip handle. Yeah, all intact. Nice shape, eh? For a hundred years, well, at least a hundred years old. Look at these hangers on here. I think there's probably a. Oh yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. See, the, look at that box up there. That's an air vent they had up there. Isn't that neat? Now that's old school, eh? A wooden air vent they got there. Love that hangers made. I've never seen a wooden air vent before. That tells you it's an old mine, eh? This is definitely old school here, so before they had pipes or anything for air vents. <laughs> These air vents must be a real rat highway. The rats would be able to just run through there like you wouldn't believe. Stick, shine your light in the end. See if I can see the light in the, the tunnel. Any rats in there? <laughs> can't see me. Yeah, that's all still complete, that old air vent. No, I never even seen that, ever, never even seen a picture of that. Now that is cool. That's old. That's old. Tons of tracks down here though. Yeah. Footprints. So. Yep. Yeah. Pretty skinny pillar, eh? <laughs> that, that indicates good ore. <laughs> they got a little game called shaving the pillar. They make them as skinny as they can before it falls down. This is the st standard issue ladders they have here. Sketchy. I've <laughs> never seen any of them really good. Well, the air goes up there, eh? No, that's not that steep either, but. We can't start going up freaking stoves. It ain't gonna load anyhow. We're, it's like four o'clock. I've been here all day already. But we're nowhere close to being out, so we'll just continue along the main level. We really want to see if we can find our way out on this level. It's no big deal for us to go back out we came, but is that dynamite or there's steel. Steel. It looks like the right length for dynamite, but. Holes drilled through it. Oh, yeah. No, not really that big of a deal getting out. We got two ropes to come in here, and really, we only need the rope for about 10 feet, really. So, so it's not really extreme. It's not really that tough to get in here. It's just a lot of work. I mean, we're seeing this carbide writing all over the place, but I don't know what that means, but. Is that a little rat platform or something? I don't know. Oh, that's it. Oh, look at that nice box, eh? Isn't that beautiful? It's a baby cradle. This is the bedroom here. Yeah, that's nice. The tag on here. It's like a miner's tag, isn't it? 140, 143. I don't know. It's a pocket tag. It's in my pocket. So I was curious as to where this went, so it's got a little wall here and uh, a little tough for Chris to make it up here because 
but, but it goes down and then it goes up. How far, I don't know. Uh, I don't think we have time to go up there any further. There's just a little chute going all the way down here. Kind of tough climbing up here, though. Got a little piece of rope I can pull them up. But I think we've been underground long enough today, anyways. <laughs> Oh, there's another bottle. Another cool little bottle. Here. No writing on it either, so. And there's some old gunny sacks. For ore. I put that high grade ore in gunny sacks and took it out. It's only about 10 feet at the bottom, this is sheer cliff. Which I could hop up no problem, but Chris can't. <laughs> no, what I did is I actually grabbed a little compressor line there. And I used that. Which maybe not that smart because you know <laughs> it's an old compressor line. But it's not very far to fall. I probably just bounce once. <laughs> you find quite a few little pieces of newspapers here, eh? Yeah. Shovel and there's an old I I screen something like that. Pump. Yeah, yeah an intake screen. It said Pacific Milk, wonderful in coffee. <laughs> and what is this? Uh, just deteriorating here. Oh, uh, something. 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 Something for 29 cents. 29, two tins for 29 cents. Oh, for Cream that. corn, two tins, 29 cents. Yeah, so it's been a while since I paid 15 cents for a tin of corn. <laughs> yeah, that should be able to tell us roughly what's more. This rubber hose, eh? Metal shielded mm -hmm. rubber hose. No, oh, and there's a, look at there's a sledgehammer. Hand is about to go. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, a cool little section in here. So I'm just here waiting for Chris to uh, come up the very, just waiting for Chris to go up the very last little part. It's a pretty cool section. It wasn't very hard getting down here. I didn't have any trouble just with the hand ascender getting up here, but. Look at all these parts of the square sets in here. They all fall in the bottom of the shafts. Chris will just come up the rest of that. Carries on for a ways further up, but nothing really to see at the top of the stope there. Lots of timbering came down. Pretty sketchy looking timbering, it's just barely sitting there. He's having to muscle up. I've only got one hand, so it makes it a little tougher on him. Or maybe I'm a little tougher on him. <laughs> so then the last part we got, this is about the only other little part that's a little bit steep to go up, but I wouldn't even put my climbing rigging on. I'll just grab a hand ascender and just a couple little, I can pull myself up with a hand ascender easy enough and then it's pretty easy all the way from there on up. Okay, um, just hang these hair rocks and stuff falling down there. Pretty steep that part. Looking straight down there. There he goes, he's coming. Home anchor. I'm not gonna have to haul him out in the stretcher or nothing. Doesn't send any stuff down to hit me with anything. Chris has come along, he's a pretty experienced rock climber, so he's coming down with me. He's only got one arm that's working good, but we're gonna try to get further down this mine, so he's coming his way down. We're gonna make it down the man for the first part, and then we're gonna enter into the end of the shafts. So lots of air screaming up through here, sir. So. We'll keep going down. I'm just going to wait for him here. We're going to head down this shoot here. We're just going to go for a little walk here. So here with uh, Chris, my wingman, they call him that because he's only got one wing. <laughs> <laughs> but he's uh, got a lot of experience. He knows how to tie all these fancy knots. I hope you can untie them. We'll just go for a little walk along here. See, there's quite a few different areas where it... I never get went into all those, but there's a path, eh? But it probably just goes up. You know, if a guy gets bored, you can spend forever chasing down all these different areas. See, there's all these different passages and areas. It'd be cool to go up, but I mean, we're, we're better off just to go down to where we're going to go. And if we got some more time, we can have a look at that. Actually, it might not be bad on the way up. It gives you a little break. When you get out of there, you probably be tired. So this goes for quite a long ways. 
Sears off. This is this is mine, probably newer. You know, not as old as some of the other sections that that we've seen. It looks like it's newer. Nice and dry in here. Warm and dry. So that's all stuff that fell out the back, eh? Yeah. See that? See those uh, those pins up there? That was actually bolted up, eh? And the bolt and everything yeah, came out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it all fell. It was held up, but it's not held up now. When you see all these tunnels are really solid. It's just the areas where they mine. Because they took all the rock out. And then that's where it gets unstable. Eh? They're pretty big areas up there, but this goes for a long ways, I guess. I don't remember this level specifically. This doesn't look like it's been all that long. This is full. Off the back. Yeah. yeah. I'm hobbling along here. <laughs> so, what do you think of this mine? Yeah, this is interesting. There's a lot of ground and a lot of. A lot of uh, rooms under here. Yeah, a lot of square yards of material that came out of here for sure. No, I didn't notice that. This is part of a, a sled that they pulled stuff up with there. Yeah. I never saw one like that before. That's weird. Be tough to get out of here. There's a wrench. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I could take that home for a souvenir. It'd be nice to take that home, but it's yeah. too much work. <laughs> Uh, getting that out of here. Too, far, too far underground. So, it'll be enough work getting our asses and our rope out here. Right, yeah. A little steeper in here now. Um, the stress is coming down. We're doing pretty good. Yeah, it's not really as steep as you think it is. You definitely don't want to go down to another rope. The best thing is just lean back. It's coming right through it, but you can't slip that way. Just lean back and walk. You know, that looks really slippery. It isn't that good. Well, there we are. We uh, continued on down and well, it goes down further. Looks like a fair ways down yet. There's a stoke going up there. Hmm. And here's the end of the mine right here, by the looks of it, the end of this extension. Hmm. But unfortunately, we ran out of rope with Chris, but that's probably okay because he's, uh, you know, he's only got one good arm. <laughs> We've got a long ways to climb him up, so you have to give him credit. You know, I don't know how it's going to be coming out for him, but we'll help him out the best we can. Oh, there's a big stope up there. Huh. We'll go climbing up there. We'll uh, carry on back up to the surface. He's just taking a little break. See, there's a CIL, a newer box. This explosive box. I don't know, probably empty, but I'm not gonna fool with it. Explosive boxes from another stope up there. So they mine more there. Doesn't seem to go too much further in that direction. Hmm. Lots of pockets in this mine. As you can see, looking up, there's a tamping rod. Huh. Huh. Looks like there's a real old coat or something there. Pass going down. I'm coming up! Oh, he's coming down. I'd say we came down about, hey, 100 feet maybe? So... Uh, vertical? Yeah. Because you said 170 feet, right? So maybe 100... 140, 160 oh. foot rope. Yeah, the last chunk, so... 
that's common for them levels to be every 100 feet, so it's about right. So this will probably just go to there. This stuff, this calcite's weird. It's you think it's slippery, but it's fuck. You can go just about straight up and down this fucking stuff. Pull down, eh? Holy fuck, there's a whole bunch of dynamite here. Oh, yeah? Like a half case. <laughs> just sitting around this ledger. I don't think I want to step on it. That's cool. Does that look old? <laughs> well, nothing will fall on it, but. Yeah. Oh, I see a little bit of beating on it. Sitting out in the pile there. Should have brought some blasting caps and tried it out. It's pretty wet. Oh, yeah. Big ledge here. I think so. Looks like might be kind of a shoot. Might be interesting just to have a look just for the fun of it. Right in that corner. Up the top. Here comes Chris there. He's got a long way to come up here. With one arm, I'll tell you, he's got balls. He didn't cut going up these things with just one arm, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the bottom of that shoot there. We didn't particularly want him to come out there. Because the only thing you can do without getting soaked. You're not having to hurt your arm any? Ah, no, it's not bad. No. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go for a little hike up the stoop. Let's see if there's anything interesting up in here. I just see a little path here, so nice and warm up here. Of course, you're warming up already. Let's see. Well, I'll kind of, I'll go up a little further. There's a curve here. See, it goes around there. Might end just up here. To see. Huh. Cool. Well, that goes for a while at least. Uh, not too much further. Yeah, now it ends here. The binders must have followed this path to get up into these work areas. See, you just kind of go to your left there, and it just kind of swings around, comes up. Yeah, you just keep going along that edge and comes up this way. There's a path. Getting your money's worth from the tour? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is what those are those birds that bird's nest I was talking about. You got stones like this. They're just calcite, eh? It looks kinda cute, right? So, and I oh, seen yeah. them one time they just end up in a little hole. It looks like it's a bird's nest with white eggs in it. Huh. That's just calcite, eh? And you can't hard to get off unless you have a little hammer you can chip them by. <coughs> that looks like ice, eh? But Look at those vines that grow under. Let's see, they just have a little trail along here. We get to the top of where they were mining. Yeah. That stuff all caved off of here. Yeah, it's loose over here too. Really loose. Oh, there's quartz, eh? There's your quartz right in here. Oh, yeah. They didn't want that. This is actually really sketchy where I'm standing. Move. <laughs> yeah. Too. yeah, right there. Not too bad here, but. This trail continues along. Yeah, that's pretty steep. Hope it don't slide down there again. There's just a bunch of other little cubby holes and stuff that goes up there. Looks like it ends up there though. Is there a way to get out at the bottom on this side? 
Yeah. Well, there's, there's that, those, we looked up and we saw those rails going across. Yeah. yeah I can see those rails. I don't, I don't know. It would be an easy way to get out. That's pretty steep right there. But it goes, I think so. Well, I don't know if you can get past those rails. It's kind of a big jump off to the ground, eh? Where the rails are. I could get down here. I think that's the level right there. But you have to skid on your ass. It's a little steep. Not very far. Yeah, it's like about 15 feet down to the level here. Now you have to go back the way you came. I think I can sneak right through this way. As long as you don't send more rocks down. Holy. Yeah, there's lots of big slabs here that fell down. Yeah, I can make it, but. Big slabs that fell down here. <coughs> Off the back. <laughs> that doesn't look very good. <laughs> Oh, as long as I don't touch anything, probably not going to fall. Probably. So far, never had anything fall on me, yeah. There is a chance that if you're under here, that you can see new mineralization that the miners never seen, right? Because a bunch of this stuff fallen off more recently. Could expose mineralization that hasn't been seen before. If you know what you're looking at. <laughs> I'm not a fucking geologist. I know a fair bit about how mines operated, but not really that much about formations and stuff. Well, look at the bolt, bolt here. Bolted yeah. up in here. Remember that other place we're seeing where it's. The fucking bolt and everything was laying on the ground. No. The rock and the bolt and everything fell. Mm. Oh, that was kind of cool. It wasn't too extensive, but it really would be. Yeah, where that rail was, we'd have been about this height there, and it was just a straight drop back down to the level. Mm. Or drill, drill steel. Well, for all you guys sitting at home saying, well, you can't do this and you can't do that because you got a sore arm, look at this guy. <laughs> One run bandit. <laughs> do what you got to do. Yeah. Don't you sit there whole moping about it. Alright, there we are. We made it up to the work part level where the three parts are. And uh, just waiting for the Chris. I don't know what that was, some kind of a tool or what? Just waiting for Chris to make up the last. Well, we've got one more little stretch of rope, but it's not very bad at all. But yeah, this is pretty nasty, especially if you've only got one arm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know you guys like to go up there with one arm. It's slimy and lots of dirt and mud and stuff in there. So from here, what we do is we just pick up all these ropes. There's two ropes. Better work to drag them up. This is all filthy. And I just take the rope and throw it into this big tank. Into here. And, uh, and then pull it out and pile it. So it's fairly clean when a guy gets it out. Not a bad. But we were going to originally go down this. Well, shoot here, but it's pretty hard to go down there without getting water pouring down your back. There we go, found a cool little wrench here. We'll add to our souvenir collection, I guess, eh? Yeah. You know what it's been used for. <laughs> the square nuts. Something to do with this winch, I guess, or whatever we set up here. Look at that hook, that was pretty neat. Cable's so rusty. 
Good grapple. Maybe I can beat it off of there. Beat it off of my wrench. You're almost there. There's cold beer up here. Oh, beer. <laughs> so we had those boards so I'd slide down there. Just all these rotten boards and slide. When we first took the first picture, it looked like this is in pristine condition. As soon as it touched anything, it's just rotten. It goes freaking sliding down the ball of the mine. Pretty scary when you're there and all of a sudden a big board comes sliding past you. Getting closer, you can see the top now.